Escaping to the country isn't just about finding that perfect property. For me, it's also about finding that perfect view. And sitting here, looking out over Aberfrau Bay, towards the peaks of Snowdonia, on the Isle of Yenismorn, which is Welsh for Anglesey, I reckon I've done just that. Not a bad way to start today's show, from stunning Northwest Wales. Our two of our property search and later on I'll be revealing our mystery house which I think is going to be a real surprise and will test the boundaries of their business plan but first to a property which is all about and Paul's new business venture look at this for our second day of house hunting together I thought I'd bring you to this inlet here this bay has its own microclimate i have friends who live in cheshire who come here every single year and they say often it's raining as you come in and then you arrive and it's sunny and that microclimate also means it's great for water sports because it does i thought business wise this would make a great oh you could live here and encourage mm, others to that's right are a stone's throw from snowdonia mm. right so you have it all here yes yeah yeah your next house is only a couple of miles up the road Hey, this property is absolutely all about the views. Oh, wow. Once again, you've come up trumps with the views. There's so much to take in, isn't there? It's, well, it's stunning. Just, it's yeah. changed them. Can't wait to see the house. Both properties via choice. So with this property, it goes straight into the kitchen. And you will be able to see more of it later. This is the heart of the cottage, really, where, in a way, it's... And the views. Oh, yes. They're beautiful. Uh, it's a good size room. It looks That's exactly what it is. Yeah, so I thought you could turn one of the bedrooms into an ensuite. Yes, I think so. Because it would just be the two of us. Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't need four bedrooms. No, there's, there's plenty of room up there that we could do that. That's one half done. On to the barn. Peak season. So this kitchen has the original... This is a great size living room, isn't it? Yeah, great fire. You'd be delighted. I like that. I think I leave that up to you, because that's what I <laughs> <laughs> Sensible answer, uh, sensible uh, answer. Let's go see more. And then you have a dining room. It's a uh, nice feature, isn't it? It's a nice feature. Mm. And this is, mm. you know, light and bright. It would be tempting to think that's part of it. It's not, but the gardens around both properties. Yeah. yeah, I've got my eye on developing it further and putting some more um, holiday lets there. Yeah. yeah, you could. Let's talk about whether it could become a reality, the feasibility of this. What do you think? It's on the market for a million pounds. Oh, right. I was too optimistic. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do have £200,000 left, but whether that is enough for the plans that you have in mind i'm gonna let you decide go and have another look around and then come and find me i'll do that thank you thank you under by sykes so i've come to aberfrau beach to meet her sean your home it's gorgeous croiso welcome <laughs> isn't it beautiful what does that status mean? Alternatives wherever possible and reusing and refilling the hotter and guide found her own way to highlight the harm that disposable plastic... I think Paul and Joe are going to be blown away by our mystery house. Main one, it should look like this. They are going to love the main restaurant here. I absolutely love this courtyard and that annex back there that is where Paul and Joe could set up home. Welcome, welcome to the mystery house. Or should I say, hotel. Yeah, but it's not for you to enjoy. Oh. Would you like to run it? New business? Yes. Well, an opportunity has come up to explore. Sure. Please. I have a business plan for you. Whilst Paul and Joe could own this property, the question is whether they would be prepared to live under the same roof as their guests. How's this for a period property? Oh, it's really, truly impressive. Yeah, you can see all the Georgian features in here. And it feels like... So this is the, the drawing room, the parlour. And this might just look like a corridor. Actually, hold your horses. 
understand why they call it a boutique hotel. It's all in great condition. Yeah. So it's a place that, if you, you've seen so far? It's quite a bit to take in, but... Uh, well, it's a completely different concept. Yeah. And because it's so small and intimate, and you've got the lovely gravelled drive as you walk... Say 1.2 million. OK, you think I've gone top of budget? I think you've gone top. Joe, I think you've exceeded the budget. In the region of 1.3 million, how about splitting the difference? That's a very good price for, for what you're getting. Yeah. Challenge too far. Let's find out. Here they come. I know that I just thought it was a gorgeous property we shouldn't not see and quite an opportunity. Is it still realistically in the picture or is it a bit too much? As beautiful as it is, it's not going to be our dream location. And as Paul... <laughs> that would be right back in the thick of it, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think... Do you think you'll go back to view any of our properties? Yeah. That I'd certainly like to go back and have a second look at. It had everything. It had everything. It so did. I ruined it by showing you more properties. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You've got choices, choices, choices. What are you going to do? Oh, it's very difficult. Yeah, you showed us two great areas, first of all in Anglesey, a little bit to another part of North Wales which uh, we hadn't viewed previously. Cheers, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. It's been so lovely exploring parts of North Wales with Joe and Paul and what's been interesting for me is that even though both of them said they were